Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are going to be learning how to divide a number by 2. And dividing by 2 is the same as finding half of a group of objects. And we're going to do that in a very yummy yummy way. Today we are going to be dividing a number in half using some candy. So come on and do some sweet math with me today. Class, let's take a look at my candy. I'm gonna, we're gonna count them first. We're gonna count by two. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We have 20 candies. Now, we are going to divide them by two. I have two bowls here, and we're going to put one candy in each bowl. So we're going to start off with these ones. I'm going to take two from the plate and put them in bowls. Let's find out what happens when you divide 20 into two. Half of the candy is in one bowl, and half of the candy is in the other. Let's count. I'm going to take out all the candy in this bowl, and we'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Each bowl has ten pieces of candy. Twenty divided by two is ten. Class, we just looked at dividing 20 candies into two different bowls. How many went in each bowl? That's right, it was 10. 20 divided by two equals 10. I have 19 candies in my bowl, and we're gonna divide those by two. I'm gonna divide, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in each bowl, hmm, with one left over. Nine with a re one remaining. All right, we just tried to divide 19 by two. Hmm, it didn't go evenly, did it? We were able to have groups of nine, but there was still one left over. And I'm gonna say that was with a remainder one and R one. Now I have 18 candies. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And we're gonna divide those 18 candies into two bowls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine candies in each bowl. How many are remaining? None. Okay, we just divided 18 candies into two bowls. And how many went in each bowl? That's right, it was nine. Now I have 17 candies, and I would love for you to try dividing 17 objects as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The number 17, when divided into two groups, or divided by two, is eight with one left over. All right, we just divided 17 candies into two different bowls. And we were able to have eight in each bowl, but there was one candy left. And so I'm gonna say eight with a remainder of one. I have 16 candies. Do you have 16 objects? I'm gonna have you divide them into two groups. Divide them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 16 divided by two is eight, with no remaining. All right, we just divided 16 candies onto two bowls, and that was eight without any leftover. Now I have 15 candies, and I'm gonna divide the 15 candies into two bowls. It's like we're dividing them between two friends. We wanna make sure 
that we have given our friend an equal or a fair amount. Oh, there's one left over. When we take the number 15 and divide it by two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with one remaining. We just divided a group of 15 candies into two bowls. Hmm, it didn't go in evenly. There were seven in each bowl with a remainder of one. Now we have 14 candies. Hmm, if we divide 14 by two, do you know how many will be in each bowl? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 14 divided by two is seven with no remainders. 14 candies divided into two bowls was pretty easy. There was seven in each bowl with nothing remaining. Now we're gonna divide 13 by two. One, two, three, four, five, six, with one remaining. 13 divided by two is our last one of this column. We were able to have six candies in each bowl with a remainder of one. Hmm, I'd like for us to take a look at this. I bet that you notice something. Do you see a pattern? Take a close look. Well done. Do you see that every other one has a remainder? Let's look at those. 19 divided by two, 17 divided by two, 15 divided by two, and 13 divided by two. What do all of these numbers have in common? Did you say that they're all odd numbers? You would be right. An odd number cannot be divided evenly by the number two. Hmm. 20, 18, 16, and 14 are all even numbers and we can evenly divide them by two. Good noticing. We're gonna take a look at these questions here and we're gonna erase all of the ones that will not come out even. We're gonna erase all the ones that we think will have a remainder. 12 divided by two. Is 12 even or odd? It's even, so that will not have a remainder. 11 divided by two. <gasps> 11 is an odd number. Hmm, that one would have a remainder. I'm gonna erase that one. 10 divided by two, 10 is even. Nine divided by two, nine is odd. I'm gonna erase it. Eight divided by two, eight is even. What about seven? That's an odd number. I'm gonna erase it. Six is an even number. That will divide evenly. And five is an odd number. I'm gonna erase it. Class, we can divide even numbers by two evenly without any remainder. I'm gonna have you practice today. I would love for you to get a little bowl, maybe of candies or cereal or toys or anything you wanna practice with. And I want you to practice dividing them by two. Count out a number and then think, hmm, will this divide with a remainder or without a remainder? And I want you to practice and play and play and play with math. Friends, thank you so much for learning with me today. I hope that you have a sweet day. Bye-bye.